so a couple people have asked me how the Lazine Road Drive uh, hand pump works and I guess in short the answer is well but I'm going to take a minute here to show you how it actually works. Uh, first off the mounting, it comes with this nice uh, CNC machine bracket that mounts behind the water bottle cage. Um, I've opted to put mine behind the seat tube as I figure that cage gets a little less use and is uh, less likely to rattle loose so uh, it's been working great. Uh, the pump itself is obviously, as you see, very nice. Um, it's perfectly color matched to my bike. If you know me, you know that's not by accident. Um, it's light. It's about, uh, I think, about 110 grams for this big one here. And I'll show you how it works. So <clears throat> the handle just twists out, pulls out of this rubber bracket. It holds it from uh, rattling loose. And uh, I pulled that ring off by accident there. So that's the handle and the shaft and in contained in the handle is the the hose so you just unscrew that press the hose screw it into the uh, base of the pump like so and uh, there you go it's pretty much ready to go so the nice thing about this pump having the hose is that uh, as you pump up the valve you it doesn't rattle the valve around and you're not likely to, to rip it at the base of the valve like you do with some other smaller hand pumps. So pretty much all you do is unscrew the valve like so, let a bit of air out, take the road drive pump, screw it right onto the valve and uh, pump away. Now as you can see, uh, it's a lot gentler on the valve than the other uh, smaller hand pumps are. Um, Lazine claims that this will do uh, 160 PSI. Uh, quite frankly, I think you'd need a reconstructive soldier shoulder surgery if you did 160 PSI, but it will do 110 pretty easy, which is uh, nice to get you up and going. And when you're done pumping, simply unscrew it, tighten the valve, put it back on your bike, and you're good to go. It's a bit of a pricey pump. I think I paid about 50 bucks for this on Amazon, but uh, a lot of places to save money on your bike. I think the pump is not the right one. Nothing sucks more than being stranded at 40 PSI, 40 KOA from home. So there you go. Hope it helps.